Hey cuties, so in today's role playing video, my teddy bear came to life. And then Teddy, Ashley said the meanest thing to me. I mean, I think you'd expect it because it's Ashley, but like, wow. It was so mean, it even took me by surprise. Wait until I tell you, it is just gonna blow your stuffing. Whoops, that must be Sky here to work on our project. Don't move, Teddy. I'll be back to finish this conversation later. Meanwhile. Hey, girly. You ready? To go to the movies or somewhere fun? Yeah. To work on our science project? Not really. Yeah, me neither. Want to blow it off? I mean, yeah, definitely. But I don't think we're allowed to do that. So come on. Come upstairs. Yeah, well. It was a nice die. Okay, so I gathered poster paper and Sharpies, and I got some highlighters, so at least that's somewhere of a start. What I did not gather, though, is the instructions, because I left the worksheet at school. Uh, girly, who is this? Oh, that? That's Teddy. You know that guy. I mean, Teddy's been with me longer than you have. If you look at his ears, you can see a bite mark from when I used to teeth on him as a baby. Yeah, I know he's your teddy bear, but why the heck do you still have it? What do you mean? Teddy isn't just a teddy bear. He's part of the family. He's, well... Teddy! Oh, I am so glad we are in your room and nowhere near where Ashley can hear what just came out of your mouth. Wait, why does this have anything to do with Ashley? Girly, you just called your teddy bear a member of your family! So he is. Look, I love you, Sky. But I love Teddy even longer, so I don't really know what the big deal is. Um, maybe the big deal is that he's a teddy bear. I mean, I get it. I still sleep with my blankie, but I also know enough to, as soon as I wake up in the morning, I hide it under the bed so that nobody will ever see it. Aw, your poor blankie. I would never want to put Teddy under my bed. He would get so lonely. Early, it's a toy. I'm just saying, imagine if someone found out. That would be enough to ruin an entire high school reputation before it even started. I mean, having a stuffed animal is one thing. Sleeping with one is another. I don't know. I think you're way overreacting. Besides, how would anyone even know that I sleep with him? Are you kidding? TikTok, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, there are so many ways. One wrong move and that's it. You can just imagine what Ashley would do if she knew. I hate to think about what she'd do to that teddy. Right. I guess I never really thought about it that way. I mean, she can't hurt you because that's illegal. But there are no rights protecting the lives of innocent stuffed animals. Exactly. And he's just an innocent bystander. Well, what do you think I should do? I don't know. Well, I mean, my first suggestion would be to retire old Mr. Bear there. But come on, girly. We're getting sidetracked. We have a science project to do. It's science, right? I mean, I may have blinked for a minute on what we're supposed to be doing here. Yeah, it's science. Come on, let's go get started. Later that night. Oh, okay, time for bed. That science project was a colossal waste of time. Who knew you really needed the instructions to know what to do for the assignment? Do you have anything to say for yourself, Teddy? <laughs> Of course you don't, because you're just a toy. And even worse, I'm the teenager who sleeps with a toy. Maybe Sky is right. Maybe it's time that I grow up. Maybe I should learn to sleep without my teddy bear. Teddy, if you have any objection to this, say something. Okay then, well, turns out you really are just a toy. And that you don't have anything to say, so I guess that's a sign. It's been a nice lifetime sharing the bed with you, Teddy. But I think it's now time for me to grow up. And part of me growing up is not sleeping with a teddy bear anymore. I'll just keep you in one of these drawers. There you go, buddy. Oh, look at that, a shooting star. Quick, let me make a wish. Quick, what do I want to wish for? Uh, no time. Okay, I wish that Teddy was real, because then I would never have to outgrow him. And it wouldn't be weird for him to sleep in my bed, because then he'd be like my real life friend. Anyways, I know wishing a upon a star doesn't really work, but that's my wish. Anyways, good night, stars. The next morning. Ugh, darn alarm. Why can't they make a snooze button that lasts like four hours? Or make school start later. Either one I'm fine with. Ah! Oh my god. Wow, my heart is pounding. Hey, I thought I put you in my drawer last night. Hang on, how are you standing on legs that's made out of fluff and stuff? Yeah, you did put me in the drawer last night. I think the real question is, why? What did I ever do to you? Was it sleeping in the bed with you when you still weren't potty trained? Or keeping the secret that you suck your thumb way longer than the average kid? I'm just saying, I thought we had something special and then all of a sudden it's like I'm nothing to you. I mean Sky says one thing and poof there I go into the drawer. Wait you were listening to mine and Sky's private conversation? Duh I listen to everything. Like trust me Kenzie everything. So who's Josh? He is um um hey don't get me off track here. My teddy bear is talking to me. Let's not try and gloss over this situation. Like what the heck am I hallucinating? Am I still dreaming or did I take way too many gummy vitamins and it's affecting my brain? Yeah none of the above. Do you not remember the wish you made last night? The wish? Wow, Mackenzie, you really do have a memory problem. You're like Dory the fish. Yeah, there was a shooting star last night and you made a wish. You wished for me to be real and everyone knows that when you make a wish to a shooting star, 
star, it comes true. Well, clearly I didn't. Yeah, no kidding. Weird though, I thought you'd be happier about your wish coming true. A little disappointed you're not. No, 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 it's not that I'm not happy. It's just a bit of shock, I guess. Yeah, I hear you. I've been standing there watching you sleep for hours, just waiting for you to wake up. Did you know you drool in your sleep? Stop, stop. Okay, I'm still trying to wrap my head around this whole teddy bear being alive thing. And now you're telling me gross facts about myself that I don't even want to know. By the way, do you see everything? More than everything. But don't worry, I don't have a Twitter. So it's not like I'm going to tweet about it. That's very noble of you. But I need to figure out what the heck I'm going to do about you. What do you mean what you're going to do about me? I thought you'd be excited that I came to life. Yeah, well, have you ever heard of the saying, be careful what you wish for? Moments later. So what is it like brushing your teeth? My nose is sewed on, so it's not like I can fit a toothbrush in there. Do you need to talk constantly? Hey, I have like 15 years worth of things to say stuffed inside me that is waiting to come out. It is gonna be a long day. <laughs> stuffed inside me, get it? Cause I'm like a stuffed animal. Anyways, speaking of it being a long day, what are we doing today? We, well, I have to go to school. And you, well, I haven't exactly decided what I'm gonna do with you yet. I'll come with you, duh. Um, no, I'm bullied enough for one person without having to bring my teddy bear to school. Fine, I guess I'll just stay here and go through all your stuff then. No, you know, for a beloved childhood toy, you are awfully naughty. Didn't your teddy bear mom ever tell you that it's not nice to go through people's personal belongings? No, I didn't have a teddy bear mom. I just had you, which maybe explains things. I'll think about that when I'm reading your diary. Okay, no on that one. Forget it. I can't leave you here by yourself, clearly. I guess I have no choice but to bring you to school with me. And that way, Sky can help me figure out what the heck to do with you. Wait, you're not gonna reverse your wish and turn me back into a toy, are you? I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but let's just get there and see what Sky thinks first. A few moments later. Sky, I need to talk to you. Come over here now. Oh, what the heck, girlie? Sorry, Sky's friend. Sky is in the middle of an emergency right now, and Sky is needed. Show it out, me. I'm being taken hostage. SOS, girlie, we need to talk now. Uh, girlie, this is a public bathroom. You can't lock it. What if someone needs to be? We'll have to use the boys' room because I am not kidding. This is an emergency. Okay, uh, are you gonna tell me what's going on? Or are you gonna continue to kidnap me and keep me in suspense? Well, as fun as that does sound, no. Okay, so you know how you gave me a hard time about sleeping with my teddy bear? Okay, well, I wouldn't say I gave you a hard time as much as lovingly guided you as a best friend does. No time to smooth this one over. Okay, so I put my teddy bear in my drawer last night, and I felt kind of bad about it, and then right after I did that, there was a shooting star, and I wished on it. And then, well, when I woke up this morning, this is what I got. Hey there, you said some not very kind things about me last night. Do you care to apologize? <laughs> Sky meet Teddy, Teddy meet Sky. Oh, we met. I believe the term thrown around was girly. It's a toy. So, am I a toy now? Teddy, knock it off. It's not helping. How? Why? How? Yeah, I've already asked all of that. I don't know. Something in the wish made him come alive. Sky, my teddy bear came to life. I don't know if you have any ideas on what to do because I certainly do not. Um, well, isn't there like a home or a pound to bring your toy to when they come to life? Sky, this isn't Toy Story. This is real life. Does anybody want to ask my opinion here? I mean, I know I'm just a toy, but I still have feelings now. I'm just able to express them. Not now, Teddy. Is there a way that you could just, I don't know, reverse your wish? I don't know if I want to do that. I mean, look at him. He's been with me for so long. But girly, what else are you going to do? Oh, why did you just lock this stupid door? Who is she? Ah, that busy little e man just talked. Um, I'm sorry, but it's so obvious I'm a bear. I mean, come on. Oh. Oh, you must be Ashley. Okay, I get it now. If you tell anyone about this, Ashley... Give me that thing! <gasps> Teddy! You say you love the hairball? Let's see how far you go to get him back. Sky, now what? I don't know, but something tells me that this isn't good. Moments later. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Teddy isn't just a toy anymore. He's real. And I let Ashley get her paws on him. Okay, this might sound harsh, but I mean, you were kind of debating on what to do with him anyway, so maybe this is just the right thing. I mean, really, what is she gonna do with a teddy bear? You don't get it, Sky. He's not just a teddy bear. He's a part of my family. I love him, and I'm gonna get him back. Okay, it's Ashley. She said, meet her in the woods, and she'll tell us the demands in order to get Teddy back. Come on, let's go. A few moments later. What are you gonna do to me? Shut up, Fuzzball. That's the least of your worries. All right, Ashley, no more playing games. Hand over the bear. Oh, you want this thing? Well, I have a few demands of my own before you get him back. But if he's just a toy, 
toy. I'm sure you don't mind if I rip him to shreds. No! Whatever your demands are, I'll do it. Wait, what? Yeah, Teddy is a member of my family. I know he's a toy. I know he's all that blah, 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 but I don't care. He has a way bigger heart than you, Ashley. So you know what? Do whatever you have to do to me. I love my teddy bear, and I am not embarrassed to say it. <laughs> Take that, Ashley! Ah! <laughs> Daddy, Daddy, you're okay! Never better. Thanks for standing up for me, Mackenzie. Now, let's just get out of here. That girl is nuts. <laughs>